Always raging. <laughs> Ugh, get out of there. You're not supposed to have it in your pee-pee. Ha ha ha, nippy's ass. Oh, God. Merry almost Christmas, everybody. And this is day nine. We are back with Faulty Towers, season one, episode four, and it's called The Hotel Inspectors. The hotel is a way to be inspected. That is not good. Not for this crappy hotel. Mr. Faulty is going to be running about like a headless chicken, telling Polly and Manuel to do everything and all he'll be doing is running back and forth barking his orders and it's not going to go well is it but that's what we're away to find out if you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to stick around then please subscribe also head over to patreon if you want to there's lots of videos on there already oh and get that potion of post sean connery today get that post notification bell on so that you can see when these videos are uploaded every day almost every day in december 25 days that's almost here we go let's just play season one episode four the hotel inspectors and play that sign says something different every time it's on i know real live why he was only one what but plenty of volts as they say <laughs> i know oh she never said it no just lighting up go on <laughs> it's weird seeing them smoking inside. Basil! Yes, dear? Could you come and attend to a gentleman out here, dear? What, you mean out where you are, dear? I'm on the telephone, Basil. My husband will be with you in a moment. Oh, God, how do they still have guests coming? I shall require your aid in getting for me some sort of transport to get me to my first port of call. He needs a taxi. Do you want a taxi? In a nutshell, could you get it for me? Because I never use the telephone if I can avoid it. Why? Risk of infection. I would be very grateful if you could draw me a diagram of the optimum route. What's wrong with the map? Well, it's got curry on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have a diagram if it won't put you out. Well, it does put me out. Well, I'd like it all the same. Basil! Yeah, then. We do have pens. Oh, yeah? You? We have actually got pens in the hotel, thank you. <laughs> I don't think you do. Do you believe it? I mean, there are no pens here. I mean, this is supposed to be a hotel. That's Inspector. I put them there. Why? I am not always losing them. People take them. Well, they don't take them from me. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> pens? And it's more like bends to me. Where is the post office? Uh, it's there where it says post office. You've used the abbreviation. Ah, the penny's dropped. Yeah, well, I thought it said boff. <laughs> <laughs> that P looks like a B. There, there. It's a P, isn't it? I suppose so. P off. Uh, Manuel, would you take these cases to room seven, please? What a disaster this whole hotel is. It's a locale. It's an equatorial torture. <laughs> 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 That's a good idea. Well done. I don't know what it is about this place. I mean, some of the people we get in here. It's you. Don't shout at me. I've had a difficult morning. Oh, dear. What happened? Did you have to talk to all your friends for so long you didn't have time to perm your ears? Perm your ears? <laughs> Audrey has some news that may interest you. So the mayor wears a toupee. Somebody's got nail varnish on his cats. Am I getting warm? <laughs> there are some hotel inspectors in town. Ooh. I'll call Bill. You don't have to call Bill, Basil. Just try to exercise a little courtesy. Yeah. <laughs> You're screwed. I'll <laughs> <laughs> do that in a moment, please. I'm on the telephone. Well, you haven't used dialing yet, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible for me to reserve the BBC Two channel for the duration of this televisual feast? Why don't you talk properly? <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to tell you that I have a wide experience of hotels. Oh, is he an inspector? In my professional activities, I am in constant contact with them. Are you really? Yes. Well then, is it... It's not. It's not an inspector. Why don't I introduce another scheme by which I reserve the BBC Two channel for you tonight? Now that's more like it. He's not the inspector. <laughs> We do like to have girls. So all the same people still live in there. Do they just live there forever? You partake of lunch now? What? Spanish? Omelette. Yes, and all on the plate, please. Not on the tablecloth. You're not by any chance the Duke of Kent, are you? No, 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 no. You got the wrong person there. <laughs> I assume that all the vegetables within the omelette are fresh. Oh, yes, yes. Including the peas. They're not frozen, are they? Uh, well, they're frozen, yes. Oh, see, well, if they're frozen, they're not fresh, are they? Well, I assure you, they're yeah. absolutely fresh when they were frozen. What's wrong with a frozen pea? That's the best ones. And might I suggest that in future you avail yourself of sufficient quantities of the fresh article? How do you get fresh peas that aren't frozen? I don't get it. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Hutchison, uh, telephone call for your reception. Oh, dear. He's a very strange man. Stranger than Basil. <laughs> 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 Good afternoon. No. 
<laughs> there's no sun, there's no good for me. I beg your pardon? I'm homesick, yes. Oh, he's homesick. Thank you. See? Right. He's the inspector. Room 7 is table 5. No, please, here. Please, please, here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Glass of fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> we can't sit there and speak and come on. Come, would you come over here, please? I mean, this is table five here. Come on. Look, I did ask for wait. Yeah, that's Inspector. Come on, sit there. <laughs> would you sit down, please? Oh, he's raging. Might I look at the wine list now? Yes, please. Excuse me. Oh, God's sake. You're going to get a one star. I hope everything was to your satisfaction. Yes, well, your earpiece was very greasy. I wiped it. Greasy? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, get out of there. <laughs> You're supposed to have it in your pee pee. <laughs> ah, in there. <laughs> know what you're doing? I'm afraid this is corked. I just uncorked it, didn't you see? <laughs> the wine has reacted with the cork and gone bad. Mm -hmm. May I? <laughs> yes, still? How are you getting on with your hotel inspector? He's not. He sells spoons. <laughs> Tell me he's a hotel inspector. Fresh peas, ice bucket. It was your mistake. Now you let me handle that. <laughs> <laughs> The business was in your own imagination. It's nothing to do with him. There is no excuse for rudeness. Do you understand? He doesn't. He doesn't understand. Yes. Fascinating, fascinating. Much so much more interesting than being a hotel inspector. What? Oh, hotel inspector's right there. Watch what you're saying. Miss, miss, miss. miss. Yes? I didn't order that. Well, I thought Mr. Hutchison ordered an omelette. No, he went off it, Polly, so we changed the order. Well, clearly, in a case like this, the chef's been informed. It's his responsibility. You want to run the place? You are. You want to come around the hotel? He'd do a better job than you. No, no, no. What is going on? Is that better? Oh, yeah, thank you. Yes, good, fine. good. He's abusing the customers. I have been given an erroneous dish. Thank you, Basil. I'll deal with this. Thank you. The bottle. Where is it? Uh, oh, I take it. I take it, I take it. You're a waste of space. <gasps> oh! oh, boo. Yeah. That's funny. You didn't order Patty Mays. No, I did Hutchison. not. I'll leave you to deal with it. <laughs> that is for that guy. I thought you took that bottle away. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've just opened three of them now. Three bottles. Where did you get it? The waiter opened it for me. I've told you about him, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I nip his ass. Polly, so why has he got one? Because Mrs. Foldy told me to give him one. I know how she feels. <laughs> how can it be so difficult to get a cheese salad? You want to run the place? No, no, no. I right, don't well, want the cheese. Shut up then. <sighs> oh, he's so rude. See? Ah! Excuse me. <laughs> what a shame. Leave him alone. You told me to shut up. No, no, he told me to shut up. Oh, no, I was uh, looking at you, but I was talking to Polly, wasn't I, Polly? <laughs> You see, he was looking at you, but talking to me. You see? Me? Yes? Well, not necessarily. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Ah, oh, there, you see how easily these misunderstandings occur? Yeah, because you make them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's like a little rat scurrying. <laughs> I'm afraid most of the people we get in here don't know a Bordeaux from a claret. A Bordeaux is a claret. Yes, yes, but they wouldn't know that. No, you obviously drink a lot. Uh, wine, I mean. <laughs> 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 You're not in the wine trade, manager. No, we're not. I'm down here on business with a couple of colleagues. Three of you? What? Three of you? Yes, there are three of us. The wine's really good? Yes. And the pate was all right? Yes, and I the, said so. And the, the casserole? I haven't tasted it yet. The customer service. I'm I sorry, I, am, I do not want the omelette. It's nice. I don't. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> there, I've torn it up. You'll never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole thing is up this. It's yes. ridiculous. I'm so <laughs> Your behavior. Your behavior is totally wrong. <laughs> 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 the cheese went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, shit. You killed him. Poor chap. Bit of cheese. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Basil killed him. I was wondering if you had a telephone I might use. Oh yes, please. Ah, there it is. is. <laughs> well, that lie down seems to have done you. <laughs> Stand up like a man. Come on. Bit of trouble with the old leg. Eh? Rip, <laughs> Not really. You've got me confused with someone else. Oh, it's not the hotel inspector. I sell outboard motors. <laughs> I, I <bought> <laughs> Swear to God. Swear to God. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know how I could... Imagine Manuel was inspector. 26 bedrooms, 12 with private bathrooms. The other's one basil faulty. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, God. <laughs> You maybe should have checked reception first. And what can I do for you three gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That was another good one. I like these. Do you think it ever gets to... Well, you don't need to think because you've already seen them. I need to think. I'm wondering if like it gets to a point where the hotel's running smoothly. Or if it's just going to be like this in every episode. It's very erratic all over the place. I keep saying that I don't know how he ends up with customers coming back all the time, but I think I would keep going back. It must be cheap as well because it's a shambles. So they have to make the rooms cheap. It just seems like a fun hotel. Very laid back. Although that's not what Basil wants it to be. Okay, so that's us for day nine filmmas. I hope you're enjoying it because I am. We're almost halfway. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. If you are planning on sticking around and please subscribe. Also click that post notifications button too so that you get the notification so you know when it's uploaded. Also, Patreon's good. You could head over there and check it out too. And that's us done for today. Hope you're having a fabulous December. Thank you, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.